Wow, see it yeah. Shoot out. Welcome. If you're new over here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today. Top Dan Rudolph kill Wilfred on John's Road. Man B Chinese businesswoman Venezia charged with attempt murder and more. 34-year-old Venetia Johnson Lee of Grove and Terrence, Kingston 8, is scheduled to face the court to answer to charges of attempt murder after eating a man with her motor vehicle on Constant Spring Road, Kingston 10, in November 2021. Reports on the halfway tree police are that about 2 p.m. the complainant was attacked. Reports on the halfway tree police are that about 2 p.m. the complainant was attacked by Johnson Lee, who used her BMW motor vehicle to hit him and subsequently uttered threats to kill him. The police were informed that the complainant was taken to the hospital where he was admitted. An investigation was launched and the accused was arrested during an operation on Friday, July 29, the police said. She was subsequently charged after a question and answer interview conducted in the presence of her attorney. Lady, why you do it? You see, we as society, when women do certain things, we always go on like say, we want to keep a mouth on hush hush, so them don't get the punishment that they deserve. But I'm tell you something, me fully stand against that. Once you do the crime, you need to do the time. It no matter if you is a teen, you is a woman, or you is a man. You're fully aware of what it could have done to the other person. And you know exactly where to put yourself in. A. So why not? Stand up to your punishment. It is obvious that this woman went with one intention only. And I forget rid of this man. You notice so when she let down the man with the vehicle, the first thing will come out of her motor threats. She did this intentionally and she do it for not have a next breath left in her body. So lady, go on go do your time. The same way all under one the man them got the station go make a report pound or walk on out. The same exact thing you should have done. You could have walked out this man or you could have went to the station to make a report of whatever this man had done to you. It was that simple. But instead, because you drive big BMW and the man are walking foot, you feel like it's all right. I just like to swing over the vehicle, pan him on the road and call it a day. You know? Anything else won't come after this, just come. Well, this is what is coming your way. Go on, go face up to your justice. You don't even need a lawyer. You don't need no former lawyer. Them just need for her and sentence you with hard labor can you come out come to the same exact thing again if they not punish you well Rudolph Shaw otherwise called boxer who is considered to be one of the most wanted men in St. Catherine has been charged with murder and wounding with intent Shaw who was recently deported to Jamaica from the Cayman Islands where he was captured was charged on Monday after being interviewed in the presence of his attorney. The charges are in relation to an incident on Wednesday, September 29, 2021. The police report that about 8.45 p.m., a man who is later identified as a 59-year-old Whitfield O'Connor, a carpenter of John's Road in St. Catherine, was standing in his yard when a Nissan A&D wagon motor car drove up with the men with armed men aboard. The men exited the vehicle and opened gunfire hitting him. The police said the gunmen then drove off to another section of the community where they fired several shots hitting four men who were standing along the roadway. The police were informed and all five persons were assisted to the hospital where O'Connor was pronounced dead and others admitted in serious but stable condition. A collaborative effort led to the arrest of Shaw on Friday, July 8th in Georgetown area during a targeted operation by Royal Caymanas Islands Police Service and Jamaica Law Enforcement. Shaw was interviewed on Monday and was subsequently charged. His court date is being finalized. A 30-year-old man has been charged with assault after he was accused of attacking a Chinese businessman at a supermarket he operates in Lionel Town, Clarendon. The accused has been identified as Kevin, also of Lionel Town in the parish. It is reported that both men had a disagreement which reportedly turned into an argument. During the dispute, the police said a broomstick was used to hit the businessman on his left side of his face, causing swelling and bruises. A report was made to the Lionel Town police station. Kevin was later identified as the man's attacker. He was subsequently taken into police custody where he was arrested and charged. A court date for the accused is being finalized. Over the last six weeks, 
there has been a series of interpersonal murders that have shocked the society. Apart from the one we mentioned above, we have also seen a number of gang conflicts that have resulted in multiple killings. Following the murder of 31-year-old Kamisha Wright and her four children who were buried on the weekend, we saw just days later, on July the 4th, where a man used a knife and murdered his bedridden wife, also in Clarendon. We saw in St. Anne a dispute between two persons at a restaurant, resulting in one person stabbing another to death. Also in St. Anne, three persons succumbed to wounds that were inflict inflicted during what appears at this time to be a family dispute. Although suspects may be charged, families and communities are still left to grieve. So I'm asking that people report cases of disputes before they escalate into violence. Services, including our domestic violence intervention centers, are available to people, and I encourage persons to utilize these services. We're also seeing a number of cases where people are being killed and their bodies buried or disposed of, as was the case in Kingston Western, where the dismembered bodies of poor persons were removed from shallow graves. These are just some of the cases that have influenced the 4% increase we are now seeing. And these are the matters that we will be dealing with uh, over the next weeks and months. Shootings continue to show a downward trend with 8% fewer incidents this year than in 2021. Rape is down 16%, robbery is up 10.5%, and break-in is up 3%. The increase in robberies and break-in is of particular concern as life gets back to pre-COVID normalcy. As a response, we have made adjustment to personnel in various divisions. Additional mobility assets are being acquired and will be deployed over the next few weeks. And another team of quick response motorcyclists will be deployed by the end of August. And also, divisional commanders have been instructed to review their anti-robbery strategies in light of these changes. 